John here, Fight Hype here with my man Mike Reed, though. Mike Reed, 10 and 0. Got your debut coming, or well, your official debut coming with Top Rank, man. How you feel about it? Man, I feel real good. Uh, you know, tomorrow, the first of the month, you know, fight is Saturday, October 4th. I feel real good about it. Um, the training camp was excellent. Uh, we had a shorter opponent, so it was kind of different. You know? Yeah. Going to every other fight, I get taller up on it. So now, it was actually fun to be on the taller side. You know, I get the box more. More versatile. I heard about that. Your opponent went from like 5'4", yeah. and so you got your official opponent right now for Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh, any clue on like who he is? Do you know anything about him? Like um, you say that his height was different. What is his height? Well, his height is 5'6", so I'll still be an inch and a half inch taller than him. Okay. So I still do the, uh, you know, do the same thing. I worked on the training camp as far as boxing. You got a name? Versatile. Yeah, I mean, his name is uh, John. Manuel uh, Montiel. Okay. Yeah. Um, I want to say his record is 7 6 and 3. He's been stopped once. And I think uh, Evan Cotto was stopping. Okay. Um, and that was his last fight. And that was, he stopped him in the ninth round at the 10 round fight. So he's been in business, you know, a couple of times. And he's real durable. Um, another opponent that I can let you know my record on. But he's not a duck. You know, he's not a duck. And he'll give me, uh, he'll push me. Is this a six round fight or eight round? Uh, six. It's a six round. Yeah, if it was up to me, you know, I'd be fighting eight rounders by now. But, you know, I'm not a no rush. I'm looking for eight rounders in the near future, but right now I'm still going six. Okay. Now, um, you know, since it is October, being that you, you just got signed, and you before you was staying a little bit more busy, any anything after this you, you can expect to probably get one more in before the year over? Of course. Um, we've actually been talking about one more fight. Uh, it's a big fight. Um, we're not gonna release anything on it yet. You can, give, you can give me you can give me a teaser. You can give me a teaser. You can tell me something. Um, it's supposed to be on the HBO card. I'm okay. not supposed to be fighting on the card, but the main event is supposed to be on the HBO card. That's all I can do right now. Okay. Um, but you know we we've been talking about that. So um, I do everything I'm supposed to be doing in this one fight. Uh, then we go on the next one. But right now I'm focused on this one uh, come Saturday. Okay. Bet. Bet, man. Look. So uh, look, being it. How has, has the promotion coming out? I know you got some, Uncle Bob has gave you some t-shirts, some gifts, and welcome you to the staff. I know they've been real excited to have you. It's real it's real rare that they reach out to somebody here on the East Coast, especially in this mid-Atlantic region. So, um, you know, you gotta hook me up with one of those t-shirts oh, yeah, when you when come I, back. When I, when I got you, got it. Uh, like you said, um, for them to reach out you know, on the East Coast, they normally do everything on the West Coast. I, have, I felt that, you know, all of my work that I've been putting in to actually yeah. get top rank to come across in the East Coast to give me a look at, um, it's, it's, it's a major, you know, kudos to me and what I've been doing. I've been doing everything right. So we look to see on the same thing that I can um, look at press, be safe, look at who, who the crowd, uh, whether I get a knockout or not, you know, look at the crowd for me. Mm -hmm. Now, a couple months ago, my man uh, Jamel was here. Yeah, Jamel Aaron just told me you, was, you guys were sparring. I know you guys fought in the amateurs yeah, and everything. Yeah. Now, you know, have, have you picked up, have you seen like you had a, a urgency to pick up when you're sparring, being that you got a bigger spotlight on you now? Have you had got, you know, I know you haven't seen him since as he left, and you guys have always been good friends and good terms and stuff like that. But um, besides staying local, did you had to move around from gym to gym to get some more decent sparring now? Being that you took um, enough a notch on the actually, level, we stay local. You know, we stay local. If anybody know anything about the DMV area, yeah. is that you got know, plenty of guys. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we really don't need to outsource. You know, we keep all the work. You know, in house. And one thing I can say about my father, and one thing I can say about Dream Team is we have a good relationship with everybody that come in town. Y'all do. Yeah. Y'all do. You know, you know, even all the gyms. So it'll be nothing for us to um, call up here, man, and say, you know, we want some work with Lamont, you know, we met with Jamel, even Adrian Brown, you know, we, we get real good work. Even uh, Anthony, you know, I can't forget about my man. Yeah, yeah. You know, so we yeah. get all we get all the good work. And I even spar, you know, some of the heavier guys, but, you know, because even though I'm a junior lightweight, uh, junior welterweight. I'm pretty strong. You know? Yeah, I heard you had some 165s and yeah, some 165 yeah, you know, pound yeah, guys. Exactly. You know, um, and that's guys that fight at 165, you know. So we're not even talking about what they walk around there, mm -hmm. you know. So 
it's kind of kudos, like I said, kudos to what I'm doing in my training camp because I can actually get in there and give them a, you know, and I can push them the same way they can push me so I don't have to continue to spot smaller guys. Mm. Now, the other day we was talking online, uh, we was talking about you said, man, I can't, I've been working on some stuff in the gym. I can't wait to show it. You get, uh, you know, elaborate a little bit. I know you don't want to tell too much, but um, tell me some things. Is it more on the defensive side or more of like a counter side or more well, of a combination? You know, you know I like things defense, like that. So, um, and whenever I can make my opponent miss and make them pay, that's what I'm going to do. Right. But I say I'm, I want to focus a little bit more on body shots. You know, I haven't got a good body shot stopper since my second fight. <laughs> uh, so, you know, with him being a Mexican, you know, they take good head shots. You yeah. Know, touch yeah. them up to the body a little bit. Uh, I'm working on one. Yeah, I saw you and your dad shot. working on some body <laughs> shots over there, man. Yeah, yeah but it's one specific one, you know, that I've been working on. I get the shot a lot to the head, but, you know, when I curl around to the body, I'm not gonna tell you what the shot is, but you'll see, you'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Look, so your waist been good, your diet's been good, and everything. Do you are you your own nutritionist? I am. You, you are know, your own yes, nutritionist. Yes, you know, um, me and my dad, we've been doing it. You know, he knows what I like to eat. And I know what he likes to cook. You know. So we we kind of we kind of do it like that, you know. Um, I like oatmeal. You know, I like oatmeal a lot. It sticks to me. Um, oatmeal, I do too, man. Totally yeah, Pieces you know. of cream. Yeah. yeah oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. See, we on the same page. Yeah. <laughs> Apples yeah. and cinnamon too. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> cream, all that. Yep. Yeah. yeah, man. So I actually, you know, had a couple packs of oatmeal today. I'm not even hungry right now, but I'll go home, go eat some more oatmeal or something like that, or even tuna. You know, I'll eat tuna. Uh, put a little bit of mayo in it. Um, uh, just for a little bit of flavor, but that's about it. Um, I really make one for you. So that being said, 135, I'll be I'll be coming in the near future. And if you feel any sense of uh, urgency to prove your little bit self a, a little bit more like you still got to show something this, this, this well, come around to this guy? Of course, um, I'm gonna always fight with the chip on my shoulder only because. I play with the same work as other guys, you know, that came out of the uh, amateur system and they got signed. And, you know, my resume spoke for itself, you know, even sometimes it, it was greater than those guys that actually got signed. Oh, yeah. And, you know, yeah. with that being said, I'm like, I kind of got overlooked, you know. I, I appreciate the top rank picking me up now, um, you know, guy in my career, but I always had that chip on my shoulder. Uh, kind of saying, you know, you should have got me first. Hmm. If you look over Mike's shoulder, he got a cartoon uh, of himself. He probably got a cartoon coming out uh, real soon, man. Look, Mike, uh, tell me what you think about this main event, Glenn, Glenn Tapia, man. What do you think about the main event? Fight? I think Glenn's a very, very good fighter. Um, he's very proud of like I mentioned about myself. You know, he's very proud of people. And he packs Atlanta City out. You know, last time he had a, a sellout crowd. You know, I had kind of had to stuff my fans in there. And, uh, you know, we represent them real well. Uh, team yes, indeed, we represent it. But Glenn, you know, he, he can fight. Um, I think James Kirk can fight. It was a good fight for him. You know, I uh -huh. honestly, you know, on paper, it was a good fight. But seeing what had happened, um, he could have handled it a little different. But I think they'll definitely be building him to get, get on that uh, top stage at um, 154.